viewers. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, let's solve this problem. And then uh, we can bring this to a here we have x squared minus x cubed, then minus 12 now equals to 0. After taking this to a here, we call minus. Then equals to 0. Then from there, let's do something here and try to separate this 12 such that we have minus 4 minus 8. Then this will become x squared minus s t then minus 4 minus 8 equals 0. So we have written minus 12 in form of minus 4 minus 8. And uh, when we write this one to base 2, we now have s squared minus s t minus 2 squared minus 2 cube because 4 can be written as 2 squared and 8 can be written as 2 cube equals to 0. Then let's collect the one with square to one side and the one with cube to another to the other side such that this one will give us s square minus 2 squared then minus s cube minus 2 cube which is equal to 0. So that we have collected the one with square to one side. So from here, let us try and group it in, you know, twos. Let's let's bring it in bracket, and we have x squared minus two squared in bracket. Then something is coming here, which is minus. So let's bring the minus out, and what we have here will be s cube. Then we have plus 2 cube now. So we brought this minus out. Then equals to 0 now. And from here, we have some identities here that we need to take care of. Such that we have difference of 2 square here. We have difference of 2 square here. Something in form of a square minus b square to be equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This is difference of two squares. And also we have sum of two cube. When we have a cube plus b cube in form of this, so we have this as a plus b times a squared minus a b then plus b squared. So these are the identity we need to apply from here. And when we apply those identity here, we can rewrite this bracket. That this s square minus 2 square can be written again as x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2, applying difference of 2 square, then minus so when we apply this other one here, that is different sum of two cube, we have x plus two now, that's a plus b, into bracket a squared, that's x squared, then minus two x, that's minus a b, then plus b squared, that's two square in this case, then equals to zero. So by the time we simplify this now, we can see we have these two, you know, expression on this side, then x plus 2, x plus 2 is common. When we take it out of the bracket, we can see we have x plus 2 out. Then what is left here is x minus 2. Then what is left here is now, that's minus s squared minus 2x. Then 2 square here is 4, that's plus 4, which is equal to 0. So when we simplify this further, from here now, simplifying this one further, we have x plus 2 here. Then inside this bracket, we have x minus 2. When we use this minus to open this bracket, we have minus s squared. Then plus 2x. Minus is opening this. This will become plus. Then minus 4. Then equals 0. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel so as to receive you know, notifications tomorrow of our videos.
and uh, let's continue solving this in the, inside this bracket now we can bring the like terms together and we can see we only have one x squared that is we can write that first and say this is x plus 2 and therefore we have minus x squared then the x that we have that x plus 2x making plus 3x then minus 2 minus 4 that's minus 6 which is equal to 0 and the uh, two expression multiplies here and the result is 0 either one of them will be 0 so we have x plus 2 equals 0 or minus x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals 0 so for here we have x equals to minus 2 when we take plus 2 here so this is the solution then we get the other solutions from here from here we can solve this by multiplying through with you know minus so as to remove this minus here so this will become x squared plus minus times minus plus then we have minus 3x then this will become plus 6 equal to 0 then we can solve this one using the quadratic formula that we know finding x here our a is 1 our b is minus 3 then our c is 6 so we can apply that formula and say that our x will then be equals to minus b that's minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of b square that's minus 3 square then minus 4 ac a is 1 then c is 6 so therefore divided by 2a and 2a that's 2 times 1 that's over 2 and when we solve this now we have that and we have here now as plus 3 now minus times minus that's 3 plus or minus we have square root of this is minus 3 squared 9 that's 9 minus 24 4 times 6 24 that will be minus 15 minus 15 all over 2 and the minus here we can separate root minus 1 as r such that we now have x we now be equals to so let me write it there we have x will be equals to minus that's 3 plus or minus square root of 15 r when we separate minus out that's i then divide by 2 then we have the two other solution this one solution the two other solution if this is solution one then the x2 now will be 3 plus root 15i over 2 and the third solution is equals to 3 minus root 15i over 2 so these are the three solutions that we have here we say thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.